This is 102.6 The Situation. Connected around the world at 1026thesituation.com. Androgynous, having the characteristics or nature of both male and female. For the next several minutes, relax and retool your mind to take in the androgynous energy. Now, your hosts, Coach Linnell and Coach Jarvis. This is Coach Jarvis once again coming to you with androgynous energy. Alongside me, I have the beautiful Coach Linnell. And of course, we're here today to bring you once again that vibration that you so need along your journey. So as we always start off, you know, Coach Linnell been talking about this full moon, so I'm just going <laughs> to just, just let Coach Linnell just vibe with it. How does full moon been treating you? I mean, you know, it, it, it definitely tried to take my energy off center. Yeah. Um, and it, it kind of threw me off working out, too. I was like, wait, what's going on? Why? Oh, you throwing out why, working? I'm- why I don't want to go work out? That's what took me so long today. I, I went <sighs> to work out today. I was like determined. I was like, nothing's going to stop me from working out you know, today. You know what? I'm so happy you said that. I and the, so and then I went and I felt so good. And then I was like, oh, I'm only 4.5 minutes from my house. Why it took me 25 minutes to get home. I didn't, I was sitting in traffic at a light five times. Went the back way, came back around. Well, I know where coach live at, so I'm I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but usually that never happens. It's all, it's, and it it's wasn't something. even a game going on right at the moment. You know, right. I, I know when the traffic come, come mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I finally got to work out, and I felt like I needed to get that energy off of me right. from the previous days. I was like, what is that? You know, and again, mild for me, y'all, because this, I know people that's been yeah. going when through, through it. it. Like, literally. Life like, is life in. One lady I know lost her mother. Lost her daughter on on a, on on Tuesday. Lost her mother on Wednesday. Another man watched his mother pass away yesterday. So like, when people calling me about what's going on, yeah. I be like, y'all, I just need to go work. I'm good. Yeah, Praise good. the Lord yeah. for blessings and and having some kind of balance in the midst of these shifts because right. it's shifting hard in a way that yeah. if you ain't tuned in, you really not paying it any attention, y'all. Right. The moon affects every bit of us. All the water, the mountains, Mm -hmm. the animals, everything. So, yeah, it's been full mooning a little bit of everywhere. So I've been sending out a lot of love and light to people, trying to give them some strength that they don't have right now. Well, you know, mine has been the opposite. Life has been lifing with me. However, I've had a lot of people who don't normally reach out to me reach out to me mm. and you know what they reached out to me and said I see why you act the way you act hmm. I see why you move the way you move and it's been coming from family Ah, y'all I have my right side of my mouth is down my left side I got the joker going on coach oh that's Anthony. right coach ain't give y'all the disclaimer for the day <laughs> <laughs> he, had some, he had a little procedure yeah a little procedure a little procedure you know so I'm giving you the the Conway the Machine right now. If you know who he is, you 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 picked up what I was putting down when I put it down. But yeah, like family members who have may have wondered, like why does Unc cousin whatever not come around so often? Yeah. Why he he moved? Why he's so distant? And now they're going through things in the family dynamic, and they're calling like. I understand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're a genius, like, <laughs> uh, duh. Protecting your energy. I, I, I at have all to. Costs. I have to because family. I was telling my niece, I was like, when you deal with family, family is the type of energy where they feel obligated. They feel like they can do certain things to you because you're family, and they will be the first one to disappoint you. Yes, indeed. Because the, they, the, the obligation piece is there. They're like, oh, that's family. And family always, why does family feel like they could do you anyway, say anything? That ain't your, you don't get a pass because we share a bloodline. You don't. I require respect and I have boundaries with everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And people don't understand that. And then you will turn around and be the bad guy. 
or the bad woman because you choosing to stand on what you stand on. That's literally, literally what it looks like. And mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. But I'm that. happy though. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> and you know what? That's what you got to do. You got to continue mm-hmm. to be just happy. And you know, and then five years from now, Right. When you're super successful, then all of a sudden she, she thinks she too much. She thinks she all that. She don't come around family. She just turned. Do y'all not remember what happened 60 months ago when y'all? Please don't act. Because we're not up for performances. No, we're not. Not we're, Oscars and Emmys I around don't subscri- here. I don't subscribe to it. I don't want no parts of it. I just want to, you know, the best way to protect your energy and protect your peace is to be transparent and honest with individuals you're communicating with and remove yourself from any type of environment that goes the opposite of disrespecting you. Yes. And just move like that. It's okay. It's okay. You're you just know? moving people around in, in your life. They get a little bit less time, a little bit of less, a little bit less time in the, in your presence, a little bit less time on the phone. All that. You know, do you just got to work it out for you. Yeah, a lot of the time, the family is not what you're born into, it's what you build. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I was going to say something else, but yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> filter. Put that filter on. <laughs> Immediate catch. <laughs> Caught that one. I was all the way in the filler with I'm that t- one, I'm y'all. Talk- I'm talking about for real. I already was expecting. I was, the, yeah. You almost got the unedited version. But that's a fact, though. Yeah, but you know it is what it is, and for those out there that are actually going through and experiencing things that don't seem to be going in your favor, as long as you wake up and open your eyes, you got another opportunity and another chance. Just keep on pressing forward. It yeah. will end. It will end. A lot of the pain that goes along with it may not cease in that moment. No, it won't. But you would develop. Your worst disappointment is your family. Yeah, <laughs> when they disappoint you, because we hold them in such high regard. We have such high expectations mm-hmm. for our family members because they are family members, right. not because we know them as individuals. This this dynamic comes from childhood. You just hold right. people in a high regard, even if you don't know their full character. Mm-hmm. And then when people on the street disappoint, you be like, oh, screw them people. Right. I ain't, it don't mean nothing. But your family, you like you're blown. You're devastated. You're like falling out, trying to figure out. What's going on? How is this even possible? Like, not this person, not this family member. That's that's exactly what that person said on the phone. Like, not this person. You couldn't even believe it because they know a version. You know a version of some family members. You don't know the core of your family member sometimes. And and we give family a pass because they family versus when we meet people on the street, be like, I don't really know you. Like, I need to know about you. I need Mm -hmm. to. You don't do that with families. Like, that's just who I've been around. Right. That's who my mother's siblings are, my dad's siblings are. Those are my first cousins or those are my siblings. You know, you just accept it. There's no choice in it. You just accept it. <laughs> and I think you're groomed to accept it. Sure. Because because you got to think about it. Like when we are when we were growing up, it always like, you know, it's family first, family over everything. Always no matter what family do, family going to be there for you. That's a lie. It's a lie, y'all. That's a lie. Some of y'all might have a few family members. That's a lie. Every time. Every time I've been in the worst of the worst in my life, my family turned their back. It was three family members, both times. And I know they know them by name. One of them, my mama. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Family, Family that is not like organically attached to you like your mom or your siblings and sometimes your siblings you be distant from but like your mom or individuals like that aunties and all of that a lot of them be attached to who you are becoming yes not who you are yeah exactly you know what i mean yeah so if you're going doing all these great things it's Mm -hmm. that's my niece my nephew Mm -hmm. if you slip nobody Mm -hmm. is coming to your defense people no they're actually they actually calling to everybody in the family. Did y'all yeah, hear? Yes. Did you know? Did you know that Jarvis? Have and, you talked to? Yeah, he been in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the thing is, like, those be the main ones. Ninety days later, six months later, that will call you for a favor. Oh yeah, like nothing happened. Mm-hmm. And you, and you, a lot of you, you know, um. These um, PAPs out here I can't say the word I'm on air We'll let you figure it out 
<laughs> they don't have they don't even address it. You don't have to be um aggressive. No. Or none of that. That's you know what? Why do we hate the truth when you know someone is telling the truth but you want to make it hate? You know why? I think there's a, a <clears throat> excuse Uh-oh. me, all up she in the mic. Clear. I, I, I believe this is my belief, okay. and, and and maybe there's some science behind it. But I think energetically, as a spirit, when you speak truth, it comes out on a different frequency versus the lie. When it comes out to the next person, it's easy, it's more easily received. Right. What we say, why do people love a lie but hate the truth? Why has that been going on forever? To me, there has to be some sort of some type of frequency behind when you speak truth from your spirit versus when you speak a lie. This is not something that just started happening. That's a fact. These are st- sayings about lies and truth that have been going on. Yeah, these are max for a very long time. Yes, long before I was born. Long before either of us were born. Yeah. So that's my belief behind it. That's a good. Ass- never thought about it like that, but that's a fact because I'm thinking. Think about, I was looking at a podcast today and um, a guy made a statement. He said, a lot of people dislike me because they know that I can see through their makeup. Mm-hmm. That's me. That's why they dislike me. Mm-hmm. I see past all of the... The facade. The facade. The jury, the hair, the makeup. You know the the flashy the clothes, clothes, all that, the shoes, the sneakers, like the cars, the houses. Like I see through your whole soul, Thanks. and a lot of people don't want to interact with that. I get that personally. I get that, but that is why do you not want to interact with that? Like it makes that, people vulnerable. Why do you not? I understand balancing how vulnerable you are with certain people, mm-hmm. but when we're speaking of vulnerability and fictitious realms that is a whole because don't say you don't want to be vulnerable because you want to be fake i think there's a vulnerability in in needing those material things to define who you are okay even if they don't speak to it in words it's i have to have these things for me to feel like solid stable they can't come in. They can't come in like me and you in sweats and t-shirts and and we feel and we real chill today. And, like. and we and we and we king and queen and it all the confident way. Confident wherever I go, I got a piece of tissue in my mouth. <laughs> 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 While I'm doing the podcast, yeah, and I feel like a big bucks. Let me tell y'all something. Ain't nobody <laughs> like Coach Jarvis. There is no one. No one. I'm feeling good. One amazing, unique soul. Y'all better know it. Hey, you know what? And I'm, and you, I appreciate that because I'm starting to realize. I used to say certain things. I used to be like, you know, don't know. I live in a world where I see everybody that nobody see me. That's a lie now. Yeah. That's a complete lie. I used to always say, you know, you know, I ain't got, I don't trust. People. That's a lie now. Mm-hmm. I got trust for people until they break it. Absolutely. Me too. When you break it. I ain't even mad because I, I gave you none. I gave you I gave you enough and then you broke it, but I, I gave it to you knowing that you're human. Right. When I gave it to you. Right. That's why versus making people earn it where where I, like I used to do. Mm-hmm. Now giving it, it actually hurts less because when you make them earn it and you give it to them and they break it. That hurts. That hurts versus trusting. I trust you. And then you have it up and you be yeah. like, oh, okay, well, I'm good with you. Yeah. I'm good on you. <laughs> yeah. I gave it to you. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have to ask for it. I'm, telling you, I, I'm good it, on you. With a bow on it and everything. All that. And you know what? I feel a lot better. Me too. A lot I ain't better. holding a lot. Mm-mm. My shoulders are a little lighter. Yes. You know? And you can move around a little bit more. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Expand, expanding that energy. Yeah. But you know, it's... um. What would you give someone who's listening to the sounds of you and I right now who don't have the tools to understand everything that we're talking about, but they want to be on the journey? What would you tell them? Which right part now? of the journey? Because okay. there's so many layers and levels okay. to it. 
what we're talking about right now is being able to be vulnerable, understanding mm-hmm. why you're vulnerable. What we talked about before then was understanding the, the importance of how the moon governs everything. Yes. Somebody don't even know what, what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean yeah. the moon governs everything? Oh, I th- just thought the moon was a part of my sign. No, mm-hmm. it's a little bit deeper. And with the level of vulnerability, most would get that missing. I just like nice things. No, I like nice things. But I don't need nice things. That's the difference. It's a yeah. difference. My new friend now is Timu. If y'all don't know what Timu is, get on it. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> they got everything. Everything. <laughs> and yeah. I love it. Every, every, every day. I don't mind spending a couple dollars mm-hmm. and it comes back and it's not exactly like I wanted it, but I haven't been let down yet. Oh, that's 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 real good. <laughs> Okay. Five bucks. Shut up. I'm going to have to hit they line. Five bucks. I seen it, but I was like, nope. Those are so cute. Hey, look. These are the shoes that the kids were wearing. They were charging 100 bucks for these shoes. Absolutely not. And they stood in line to get them. Mm. I got mine on team. People are getting joy out of materialistic items. I, I'm, I'm getting, you know what I'm getting a joy out of? I'm getting a joy out of seeing people come up with alternative ways to shop for things that we were once paying so many ridiculous dollars for mm-hmm. and they are redirecting their focus and just getting things that they like Yes, and wearing from your own brand to t-shirt and regular shorts instead of going to these high-end stores and you know what the issue is with that? Most of the time when you go to a high-end store, when you wear it and take a picture, you're not going to want to wear it again. And that's weird. So that's another thing. Why don't people run to repeat clothes? Hey, because someone started that culture. Who? I don't know. You're right. Because now it's, it sits in everyone's head, including mine. Mm-hmm. You know, like even with a little bathing suit, I'm at a pool party. I was like, oh, I wore this at another pool party. Uh, so what? Right. Like, it's not even the same side of town. It's not even the same people. Not like, yet. and I'm not. A, I'm not always every outfit, every outing is on social media. So maybe it's different for me, right? Versus someone who puts every Everything, outfit, yes. every every food you eat, every every place you go, every time. You know they out there. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> don't make me laugh, coach. Don't make me laugh. Maybe taking a picture of the way the plate look when it come out, how the plate look when they're finished, what the drink look like, the sugar on the rim. The <laughs> Everybody eat and get a drink. With someone to rent sometime. Hey, look. So it's like not everything got to be broadcast. So maybe that's why I feel like I don't even care. And I alternate my outfits in different ways so that they look a little different too. So, you know. Yeah. But see, you're different. I told you one time before, I'm going to tell you again. You got to start removing yourself when we had these conversations. I removed myself. Yes, because this, this, this doesn't apply to you. It just doesn't apply to you. And because we was on that food thing, I just want to give a PSA real quick. Listen, we're in our... Mid-30s, early 40s, going into our 50s. If you're not able to go out and get something to eat comfortably, like, what have you been doing all your life? So, you don't need to take a picture of, like, all your food. Because, like... We've been eating yeah, for we've a been, long time. For a long time. In restaurants. Yes. Nice ones. Very. <laughs> I've forgotten. How many? <laughs> different ones. Different cities and countries. Let me find out you ain't used to that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. That's not for the people. We want y'all to get some access to some new things. Yes, yeah, some people yeah. ain't had options, but there's there's ways. Like, don't forget, you can ch- check out those fine dining restaurants on happy hours. They have a happy yes. hour. Man. You can have experiences for the low. Hey, that's how I used to do it, y'all. And, and, and that I ain't is been the a happy move. hour in a minute, but I actually, I just go pay full price. Praise the Lord for being in a position. But you want to check out somewhere nice, and you don't want to spend a hundred and some change. Go to happy. Go happy hour. They usually most of them have happy hour menu during the week, and they have a happy hour drink menu as well. And you can take your pictures. Yeah, you take less pictures. people there. Yeah, all that. Mm-hmm. Good sunshine. Get you some um, vitamin D. All <laughs> rooftop, that. Rooftop. Rooftop. Yeah, rooftop. You could be really balling for a little under twenty bucks. Tell them you rented the whole place in a picture. The whole place. You can tell them what you want to tell them. You know, it's not a real place, but it's a place. I encourage you to have experiences, y'all. It's important. <laughs> it's important to have experiences. I'm telling I'm you. I'm not supposed to be having this much fun with tissue in my mouth. <laughs> you can't help yourself. You cannot. This is nor- normal vibration. So, hey, hey, look. No matter what's going on. So for me, right, the full moon, transparent moment for our radio listening audience. 
me and Coach Linnell go through so much trying to make sure our schedules link up so we can come to this studio and record. If you guys could possibly think of the obstacles that we go through hmm. just to make it happen. I'm not talking about this tissue in my mouth. Right. This is, we'll figure this out. <laughs> I'm talking about traffic, things coming up last minute. Yes. And I was thinking about that. You know what I really think? It's all because of what we're doing. Oh, yeah, of course. That's it's why I laugh. All because of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And even in the midst of it, we still perform. Smiling. Hey, look. Y'all better get y'all some um, AD. ADE. <laughs> A-N-E. <laughs> I, I skipped the N and went to the D. ADE. <laughs> He talk about androgynous energy, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. his short inversion. Because yeah, so, if you take A and D, they might sound like an ointment. Yeah, yes. What is A and D? <laughs> <laughs> Robitussin. So, so, yeah, it's something. It's something that goes. It's a topical. It goes on the skin somewhere. We're but, not. <laughs> no, we're not. We, we, we're just clowning. But yeah, um, going back to that question that I was asking yes. you about, like. I know a lot of people listen to us and a lot of people um actually I know several that take notes about what we do, go and do their research on it or whatever the case may be, come back like, Wow, I didn't even know that. But they however, they always come and ask one question. How did you get started on this? I don't know. It's just in me. You know, we talked about our start I I have I recall in, in some older episodes so. Oh yeah We talked about our start Way 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 How it started Yeah how it started what They want to know put me on the path They want to know How can they get started Because it's like anything When a person sees something Like I'm gonna go to the gym Then you go to the gym You see all those people Who've been working out For months and weeks And, and they looking at me like, I don't wanna go in the gym Looking like I don't know What I'm doing right. The same thing applies with this It does And you can't care so I think I, I got to the point where, for me, there was so much life happening that it had beat me down, right, down, 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 till I couldn't get up for real. So it's like you you say to at a point you're like, you you're so down you don't care, right. That's really what happens. Mm -hmm. But then as you're trying to as you're working to bring yourself back up because that that was a process. Yeah, first of all, you had to realize how down you actually are. Right. Mm hmm. And so when mm -hmm. you feel like you're not when you don't know yourself and you get to these darker places, you don't even realize how deep you've gone right into the darkness until something really snaps. And then you're like, oh, I can't get up. I can't. So that's when you have to go seek other help. So for me, it was reaching out to a psychologist. I just had I had to. Right. There was not a want. <laughs> I, I needed, needed to. to. And I had to otherwise, because I said to myself, being the very strongest person that I know at that time, there's nobody that can help me. Right. So I got to seek professional help. That's where mine started. It started with seeing a psychologist, talk therapy. That's, there's no medicine included. And mm -hmm. it's just talking to someone that you're comfortable with. And it's like you're interviewing these psychologists because you want to have a long-term relationship with your psychologist so you can sit there with them, right. work through whatever brought you there. And as other things come up, you want to continue that process. So that, for me, that's where my healing process began. Got it. Because I found a safe, a very safe space and a very spiritual counselor. Yes. Spiritual <clears throat> psychologist who's also a counselor, but psychologist by degree. And when I started to talk to the psychologist, I didn't know how spiritual this person was, but I know it was God given because it's what I needed right. for me to get through my healing. Because I, even in my brokenness, I could see through the BS. I always have that had that ability. Right. So right. I needed a psychologist that was speaking on the truth frequency with me, and being real present with me. Right. That eye contact. Mm -hmm. And the communication Like he not on a Doing yeah, this he, Or He giving you his right undivided and, Yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah Because they gotta see, A person who's counseling Gotta hear you See you And feel you mm -hmm. And if they're not Paying attention to you How can they do that They just trying to Collect a check y'all That's it That's So it. you've been sitting In that chair 
And it's let's say 12, 18, 24 months later And you ain't seeing no improvement Go find you another doctor Right Right Immediately right. Because they're they're holding on to the, the revenue they get from you They're not invested personally in a sense In your improvement There has to be a personal investment from your counselor as well Right Got it so they professionally, yes, they they want to make the money, but when they got they their personal self involved from a spiritual space, not right. that you're having a personal relationship with your counselor, but you can tell, like when you talk with a friend or you sit with a family member you're close to, they're really listening to me, right? And the feedback they give you, that's you can, how you, you know. understand. Mm-hmm. Even if you not tune into your intuition, they listen to you. They ask you questions and then they give you feedback that would make sense based on what you said. And a lot of times they, they don't do that. Right. I've heard people have experience. I say, well, why are you still going to that person if they're not offering you anything or they telling you stuff you already knew? That's not healing for you. No, it's not. What, what is the response you else. get from that when you ask somebody that question? You know, it took me so long to find Somebody that I can actually sit down with, they don't want to go through the process of going back through search, searching for somebody, but it's for your greater good. I, I was about to say, it's for that's for you. But when you're broken, you tie it already. Yeah, yeah. So when you yeah. sit down, when you finally make a decision to do it, and you sit down in that chair, and that healing doesn't come. Yeah. 12 months, 18 months, 24 months in, no, you don't want to change. People do the same things, stay in relationships that don't work for them. Yep. Same kind of thing. You got to keep putting the work in, though, if you want things to truly change. And you got to be, like, truly honest with yourself when it comes to selecting someone that you want to be your counselor. And mm-hmm. if in anything that you do, if you're looking at 24 months down the line and you're at the same place you were 24 month, 23 months ago, what truly are you doing? It's time to make a change. Yeah. We've been there before. Absolutely. Totally. Everybody has. Totally. It's just you have to be um, determined. What, what they say, you know, you are an adult when you are grown enough to um, take accountability for a decision that you made. That's very, that's very much adulting. <laughs> you can't, you don't blame anybody else. You're like, what was my role? I made a choice. This is my, you know, and this is what this is what I'm going to bear. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. And then when you start to actually truly go, you have to actually take note because I think a lot of people who go to counseling and go see someone, they depend solely on their counselor. Yes. You can't do that. You can't. I'm glad you said that. Oh, God. You can't, but most people do. They depend on all of their directors. Do this, do that, do this, do that, do that. And a lot of the things that they may be telling you to do, you may have already been doing, Mm -hmm. have already done, already aware of. Or not in a position to do. And you got to communicate that. You paying Mm -hmm. these people money. Right. That's your money. Your money. Why are you afraid to talk about your money? You better speak up like Mm -hmm. I do when I go out and eat and have a drink. Oh, absolutely. My service ain't right. The food ain't right. You got to say something. It's your money you spend. You you paying for an experience. This Moscow mule don't taste like it ain't even in the right cup. It ain't even from Moscow. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I need for this to go back. Yeah, so it's important to speak up for yourself. Um, I know what it's like to not do that. It it bottles up and cages up and Mm. and, and locks up in your system when you do not speak freely. And when I say speak freely, I don't mean be out here talking reckless or ratchet or, you know, speak, express how you feel how you feel based on the experience you're having with someone right or something or you know whether it's work or professional what doesn't matter you there's a way to speak to it right hey you, the other day when you said abc um that kind of hurt my feelings right you know and then you kind of talk from there mm-hmm. and so that's like vulnerability it really is but we become reactive yes. so we so people can't get to a vulnerability until they can get to a space to be vulnerable and learn how to respond when we get something coming towards us what we want to do is we want to react oh yeah yeah we want to cuss we want to yell we want to swing we want to throw i think we should i think that should be a class talk on how to deal with disrespect i agree because let's our culture the first thing we want to do is hit 
Who you talking to? Cuss you out. What you mean? What you saying? And it escalates from all of those are action words. Yeah. Every last one. Mm -hmm. Even myself. I'm victim of it. Conflict resolution. Yes. Our community needs yes. that more than anything. More than anything. I created it. Oh, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that offline. <laughs> we ain't going to do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, th most definitely needed in a way, in a big way. Because a lot of people are focusing so much on emotional intelligence and not even understanding that you still have... I don't care how emotionally intelligent you are if you don't know how to properly communicate when a conflict arises. Yeah. You're emotionally intelligent 99% of the time. Every time a conflict comes, you blow up. <laughs> you got some work to do. But, you know, you know, um, I was listening to the radio the day to spark a conversation. And I was riding, I was, I was riding with Shanice. And um, there was a question on the radio. And it was, no, it was a question. Yes, it was. It was like, coming up, is um, a man saying be his peace toxic? Uh, <laughs> it's everything. Why is everything Coach, associated with toxic? Coach, I, look, I looked at Shanice. I said, how do toxic and peace go together? Go together. It don't. Like now, if you're trying to say that there are men who use that terminology because they don't want to be a, they don't want you to address them about certain things. Right. That's don't, different. Don't. That's different. <laughs> don't loop in the whole thing with you know. Some 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 men just want some peace. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, figuratively. Man, look, look, we've been. I don't know if you've been on social media, but you know the Joker, Heath Ledger. You remember on the scene yeah. of the Joker when he's walking away from the hospital, yes. the hospital blowing up behind him. Yes, that is life for real. For a lot of people. For a lot of people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people just want to be. They don't want to talk. We can look at some tools. We can listen to some music. We, but I just want to be. Peace. Not drama, not nagging, not uh, arguing. None of that. Why are we doing any of that anyway if we're trying to get to a certain. Some people think that's the only way to love. You know, people love different that ways. So they think that's that's for love for, for them. They think it's I know those people. really, really love. Yeah. Somebody talking to you a certain kind of way. Somebody's treating you a certain yeah. way. A man being grabbing you. Being jealous, yeah. grabbing you. Yeah. yeah, being jealous. Where you going? What you doing? I wish somebody would. What you mean? I'm grown. I'll be back <laughs> Shortly <laughs> You need anything while I'm out? Anything Feel free to call or text me <laughs> Feel free I'll make it happen for you But other than that Like I've given you no reason To speak with me like that Yeah that, How, That's experience Seeing that Thinking that's normal It's um, It's a very And I brought that up Because You said something to me That stuck with me I think it was like two weeks ago and you was like I'm just I just want to move from here because I feel like I'm living in a cesspool mm. you remember saying that yes I do every it's time my I'm, energy doesn't fit, fit with, with this my frequency doesn't fit in this environment anymore I can't even properly listen to the radio without it being some I turn it off I don't it's Spotify all day all I got day in the car yeah you have to. Yeah, it's just annoying. It's same. It's the same eighteen songs anyway. So then, in in, in between, it's just not <laughs> the drama. It's like eighteen songs, eighteen drama, songs drama, eighteen songs drama. drama. Like literally, most channels, mm -hmm. whether it's the Except older one hundred two sixty situation dot com. That's right, and that's but, why y'all need to be listening to this. Yeah, absolutely, the regular dial radio. Dial radio give you eighteen songs. They got to operate under the umbrella and drama. Yes, eighteen songs and drama, and every, even. Even the post on their pages. Oh yeah, dramatic. Dramatic. Why are y'all posting like social media? Cause that's all they know. They it's drama. People say even in the algorithms, you know, if you post toxic drama type stuff, your post gets shown more versus mm -hmm. something enlightening. Mm -hmm. And I have a, a a lot of a couple people I follow who test it all day every day. They be like, I'm gonna post this. Yes. And they be like. 
And then you see something wild And they be like Go look at my other posts Cause I know y'all ain't seeing that one Y'all keep seeing this one And this person has been marketing in that way The whole time And it's so funny in the comments People are like I thought your page was about positivity It is but you're not seeing it So he's trying to bring you mm -hmm. To the page Through the toxic thing stuff And, and redirect you and then To the information that they're not letting you see Right And all you got time to do is Spew more toxicity in the comments That's it Read the message. Check the message before the next one. Message. <laughs> trying to give you a message, trying to assist you along the journey. But, you know, what a lot of um those that are listening will will um hit you with. I mean, what do you do when, you know, you, you're in survival mode? and you, you adjust. You have some people don't know how to adjust. Why don't they know how to adjust? They don't know how to adjust because they've never been exposed to anyone who's giving them the proper way to. I hadn't either. I got That's a good point. However, you're different. Everybody's not Coach Linnell, So Even from young, I'm saying, this has been... I love this. Adjusting, I've done from childhood. childhood. And you know what? If most people non verbally think about it, that's what they've done as well. So they do know how to adjust. What do you think it is? We're going to... Hey, hey, I'm playing devil's advocate for you guys, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She's talking to me. She's talking to y'all. <laughs> yes. So they adjust in the moment. It's like we're so resilient we don't even realize right. how resilient we are. Because when I was a child making all those adjustments that I didn't become aware of until I became a adult, right. I was adjusting in every shift and change in my life. Nobody was giving me a pre-warning. There was no adult saying, hey, let me sit you down and tell you what's going, getting ready to happen. Right. Or what we getting ready to do. There was no pre-anything. You just, because you're resilient. You just go in and it, and it happens, right? Right. If you go from having a house and going to homeless, you adjust. You adjust. You go from having a lot of food in your fridge to not having food, you adjust. You still go to work. Yep. You still go to school. Mm -hmm. Like, we adjust all the time unconsciously it's the conscious adjustment that's gonna bring the healing right oh she gave y'all the word then oh we i hope they didn't go over too many people heads because it caught me heavy is it the conscious that is difficult because you have to really be Come to terms with who you are as a person. It has nothing to do with nobody else. It's all you, and you. That's don't, a big part of it for sure. Because you don't want it because the the mirror is so hard to look in. It totally is. That mirror work is the hardest work in spiritual healing. It is the because you looking mm. dead at yourself, mad at yourself, ashamed, disappointed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Because some of the things that you do and you say and the decisions you make, they're all yours. Right. Each choice, everyone has a choice. Sometimes people's choices are taken in different ways, right? Those people can't help those. That's happened to me before. But when I thought about <clears throat> the choices, the situations I got into where I wasn't in position to make a choice, I actually made a choice that took me in the direction mm. of someone else removing my option of choice got it still in control yeah now i didn't see it that way when the when the incidents occurred of course i was devastated i was you know all the things but i didn't realize until i became much older and really started getting to the core of the things i did and how i was and i looked back and i said if that day you'd have just said no i'm good or no, I'm going to stay home. Oh, no, mm. I'm going to drive. Mm -hmm. I still made a choice to mm. get in the car with that person or go with that person. or It's still a choice I made. So at the core of it, you make the choice. Even if down the road someone takes your choice from you and something yeah. happens that's devastating and traumatic for you. Initially, you, you made, made a choice. choice. Yes. Yes. That's real. Because thinking it back And we talking adults Because I'm not going to speak to children Who don't have the option right, right To make Choices Choices for themselves Their parents make their choices for them But when you You're in position to make choices for yourself Right You make those choices 
and be and be ready to accept responsibility and accountability for the choice that you make and stop blaming other people for your choice you mm-hmm. made the choice for you and stop making choices for other people that are for you right oh I think this is gonna make them mad so I'm not gonna do this who cares <laughs> I ain't gonna tell them niggas they gonna leave me if I tell them this Bye. I'm gonna keep it yeah no nope tell them tell them have <laughs> courageous conversation have it on my workout today, I bumped into somebody <clears throat> who I, who I'm cool with, but I don't really speak to. Okay, hold on, cool with, but don't speak. Oxymoron, maybe. Like I don't hate you, but I, I know a lot of those people. But I don't really like yeah, you. Yeah, but only you, only rock with you like that. But hey, but how you, you doing? cool a little yeah, bit, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Not in the sense where I'd be like, oh, I really want to hang out with this person again. But I'm walk, I'm like, and I know this person walks this same area I walk in, so I'm on the phone. And I walk up and 20 steps in front of me, this person was stepping onto the path and, and spotted me. And I was like, oh boy, in yeah, my head, I was yeah. like, oh boy. So they were like, oh, how you doing? You on the phone? I, yes, I'm on the phone. Like, I made a choice at that point that this phone call is more important than you talking to me. Mm-hmm. You, you can keep it moving, right? Mm-hmm. So then this person goes off and does their workout. And I'm on the phone, a conversation I needed to have. And I'm on the phone the whole time in my earbud, and they coming back, and I'm still finishing up part. You still on the phone? Yes, I am. You don't hold that much value in my life right now. So the person on the phone is valuable, so Mm -hmm. I need to continue this Conversation. conversation. And if you need to reach me, you know how to reach me for the person that was on the path. But it's like, I didn't feel like I wanted to give you my time and attention. You don't you don't value it. Let me say that. Right. They didn't value my time and attention. So, just because I've seen you and I haven't seen you, that doesn't mean you get my time and attention. That's a fact. And I then, made a choice. And you know what? That was a beautiful choice, and that was a beautiful example because even though the person on the phone wasn't aware of what just transpired when it comes to how you just explained it, mm-hmm. you know how much respect you gave them. Oh yeah. Just by intentionally giving them your attention, as opposed to this individual who felt like they could grab your attention at that moment. Oh my goodness. Intentionality, people. Yes. Be intentional. Be very intentional with everything. Because that was a distraction on purpose. Oh, it was a test. Mm -hmm. It was a test for me. And I laughed so hard because I was like, yeah, no. (laughs) (laughs) I don't supposed to be laughing. Unless I just was like, as I was walking up and I was like, I, I was going to, I saw the person from the side mm-hmm. and I'm walking this way and then they just happened to turn and look. And I was just like, I was hoping that they did not just, turn and look, but they did and stopped and waited and and I'm, st- I'm still talking. Mm-hmm. So they so know that, you know, you know mm-hmm. <laughs> that I'm on the phone, that you could keep it moving. <laughs> like, how you doing? Yeah. One of those. And yeah. Keep it moving. Pleasure to see you again. <laughs> How to handle the phone call though Enjoy your workout Enjoy it Hold it Keep it in the road It was empowering I can imagine I I said this to someone the other day I said sometimes Some things that you want That you really don't need You gotta learn how to like Let that go too You know what You preaching You, you, You talking You talking real good Because you know what It wasn't like that But that has happened to me three times over the last month but mm-hmm. it came in the form of people who you knew once mm-hmm. upon a time who want to reappear but they don't even realize and then this this is what they hit you with you know I've been calling you you ain't been answering the phone you know I've been busy mm-hmm. you know you know I stranger I'm, ain't that strange about hey, me hey strange yeah. don't you hate when people do that yeah ain't that strange about me you know I heard you got this that and the third you know that's what work gets you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are normal accomplishments When you go this work is, hard this, for your thing This is the norm This yes. is not nothing that, But see most of the people that we're surrounded by They want to go and get things So they can put it on social media And, and yeah. advertise it I mean If you're a friend of me And that is your behavior You're going to quickly realize how far of a friend you are by how I move with you. You're going to be about 
Seven yeah. layers in. <laughs> I'm gonna let on you, the other, on the I'm, outskirts. Of I'm going to let you have that. I'm going to let you have Kind of like the solar system, you know, the rings mm-hmm. that go around the, the sun. I, I understand what my mama said a long time ago. Boy, you're going to appreciate it when you get grown. You appreciate it. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your friend. And we everybody. hated that statement growing up. And the song that is ch- my friend. <laughs> we would def- Went to war. We would defend the friend to Went the end. Went to war about them friends. Next thing you know, that friend don't did the unthinkable. Then you got to go and tell, tell your, your mama. Pimp. You were right. You were right. Oh, yeah. You uh, pulled it off. Mama, guess what happened? I And hopefully she ain't going to say I told you so. Hopefully she just like, no, add some more wisdom in there. Yeah, mine going to say I told you so and add some more wisdom. <laughs> I told you. Thank you, no know everything. What I, tell, I ain't told nothing, you? Yeah, ain't nothing new under the sun. But I, you thought you was. <laughs> I love. I love when older people say that because it's so true. It is. The Earth is what people been on Earth what four, five hundred, six hundred, seven thousand, one thousand, however many years. years. Ain't that new? Literally, ain't nothing new under the sun. If you go back in history and look at war and famine and all the things that have cycled through over mm-hmm. and, and, and over, over and over, over and over, nothing. Mm. Literally, nothing new under the sun. Gay people were here. They were. They were. Been here. Been here. Some of your leaders were the main ones. All over the world. If you go back and do your research. Yep, this ain't new. Yeah, do your homework. We ain't gonna do that for you. But you know, <laughs> once again, this has been an awesome. You know, I so appreciate our time together because Agreed. life be um Mike Tyson. In. What? And I say Mike Tyson because Mike Tyson hit hard. So that's what life He did. hit hard, hard. Life hit hard, hard. But... With this show and how we communicate and how, first of all, it makes sure that I stay on the path and don't Same. veer to the left or the right. Yes. No matter what the obstacle is, we can miss a week, miss two weeks, but we still text it. Hey, we got to get back in the studio. Yes. We got to get back in the studio. Yes. Absolutely. That, that, is, that, that has been, been life for me because it's a lot that has been... Truly, family, friends, loved yeah. ones, just everything coming. And um, I don't do much. I just read certain things sometimes. And I read something from a young brother. It said, it's always calamity before the blessing. It is. Always. Always. And the thing is, I feel like I already got the blessing. So I'm not even looking for any blessing. So whatever finna come... They it's gonna big. blow my socks off. Yes, it is. <laughs> As even if you don't, if you're not expecting it, the blessings coming because they just you're due for them. Yes. So I'm saying all that to say this for the radio listening audience. Just as much as this show is a blessing to you, just being able to come and just be in that space with you and yeah. be able to actually work on something that is assisting others with getting better. Yes. That is that is, that is enough for me in a week. No, I agree. I come here with excitement. Oh yeah, it, it. I come here feeling like I don't know. It's like a getaway. Yeah. And, <laughs> from, and, this, and this ain't what Coach Linnell do, y'all. This is like out of the norm. She's behind the microphone talking I know. on the radio to people. Yeah. But you know what? I didn't step hey, all look, the way. It's outside amazing of my comfort how room. that was. I know the narrative. That is so. People would not believe you if you said that right now. No, they would not. They're like, huh? What? What? Who? We should go back and listen to show one. <laughs> oh, maybe we need to replay it <laughs> for the new listeners. For the new listeners, just to see if they follow the. Y'all, I got tissue in my mouth. Don't be picking at me if you're just not listening. I had a tooth pull today, but I still came to you live and direct. You see all that? He came to give y'all some of that good energy, so, high vibration. Yeah, so if I hear a little. <laughs> Don't even describe it. <laughs> Pause. Let me get my towel. <laughs> Trying to keep it together. Listen, y'all. It's one real. Coach Jarvis is one <laughs> of one. <laughs> one. No duplicates. They made that mold and then they cracked it. It's done. It's just him. I promise y'all. One on one. I love it. I love it. And you know what? The most high is placing the right people around me. I remember being the same person on the other side mm. and feeling like no one understood. Now, 
not only do the people I'm around understand me, but I understand them. I understand their power. They understand my power. We can work collectively as a team and become powerful. Yes. Ooh, that boy dropping. Power. Full, powerful. Oh, you, you you picked up. Yes. <laughs> so you know, you know, that's what we do here, y'all. That's what we do. Um, appreciate just the time to come up. Any last words from you, Coach Linnell? You know, love on yourselves this week, y'all. Oh, please. Take a walk, pick a flower, ride a bike, go see a movie. The matinees are cheaper. Mm-hmm. You know, do something for you, like strictly for you. I know I say this a lot because I know y'all ain't doing it. Right. <laughs> I know people personally who not doing it. But just do something for yourself. Rent a scooter real quick. Ride the city. It's Get fun. one of those rent one of those bikes. Go on the belt line. Belt line free. Free. Um they play music there. They have all mm-hmm. kinds of different entertainment. Like, get out and do something that's gonna make you laugh. Right. Gonna make you feel some kind of joy if you're going through something tough. And I know a lot of people going through some tough stuff. But just find one little piece of joy. If you got it, if it's a little baby cousin, something, just go do that, y'all. That's that's all I got for you. Absolutely. And as Coach Linnell said, please love on yourself, you know, and continue to try as hard as possible to fully be you. Everybody else is taken. I'm going to let y'all <laughs> think about that y'all for a minute. Y'all got that right. Yeah, I'm going to let y'all get that for a minute. So for me, no, I'm not. Where can they find you, Coach? Coach underscore Linnell Instagram Hearts Vision Coaching On Facebook Y'all join Threads y'all I know I told you last week <laughs> so I'm on Threads Cause I, I banned in Twitter So I'm Coach underscore Linnell On Threads Get at me Absolutely Um, Passion Purpose Coaching Instagram Jarvis Jordan Facebook Um, Am I anywhere else? No if you're looking for me you'll find me if you need to find yeah. me. Yes, yeah, so once again, have a powerful rest of your day. Um, we appreciate you. Anything-